Have you ever wondered about that tiny camera sensor in your phone? Or better yet, what the heck does it actually do? You know things like, what does the camera sensor even do? Or how does it magically make your phone look so good? Or is the one inch sensor actually one inch in size? Or do we call it one inch sensor or do we call it one inch type? Wait, is there actually a difference? And finally, does a phone's camera sensor function exactly like a DSLR's? Or is it more or is it just a digital wannabe? If you're still scratching your head wondering what is all this, don't worry, we've got you covered. Welcome to another episode of Fibre where today we are about to burst some tech bubbles and show you that the gadgets around you might not exactly be what you think they are. So first things first, what exactly is a sensor in a camera? A camera sensor is a tiny chip inside your phone that actually captures the light and turns it into a digital image. It's like the eye of the camera that sees the world and transforms it into a picture or a video. Cool, right? Okay, so now we know what the sensor is. Let's talk about the size of the sensor, the sensor size, because trust me, this is where things get pretty interesting. The sensor size is basically how big or small the sensor is inside the camera. Think of it like a canvas where all the beautiful details of your picture get painted. Now, the bigger sensors, the better it is for you. Because a bigger sensor captures more light and guess what? More light is equal to clearer and sharper images, especially in this, oh no, it's so dark moments. But here's the catch. A smaller sensor might struggle in low light and might keep more stuff in focus. Like when you don't want the background to look blurry. Sometimes a blurry background is the vibe, right? But now let's get to the fun part. The one inch type sensor. Ooh, that sounds so fancy, right? Like we're dealing with some DSLR like magic. So back in the day, Xiaomi introduced the Mi 11 Ultra with a one inch type sensor making it sound like you're holding a DSLR in your pocket. But hold up. Did you actually think it is one inch? It wasn't. Nope. You see, back in the good old analog TV days, I'm talking about the pre-HD era, the TV sensors were measured by the diameter of the tube, not the actual area that captures the image. So when we hear the one inch type in smartphone marketing, it's like saying that you're driving a sports car, but it's actually a go-kart. Still fun though, right? But the truth is, the usable diagonal of a 1 inch type sensor in a smartphone is actually closer to 16 millimeters, which is 0.63 inches. So not even close to 1 inch. But here's the kicker. When brands like Xiaomi, Oppo and Vivo talk about those sensors, they don't mean it literally. They mean 1 inch type, which is more of a marketing gimmick. That makes you think, whoa, you know, the phone has a DSLR sensor. Now let's dive a little deeper. The main reason for this is the space restriction in the phone setup because of which the size of the sensor is a teeny meeny bit smaller. The Mi 11 Ultra had the Samsung GN2 sensor, which was 1 to 1.12 inch in size. Now that sounds like a lot, but the pixels were 1.2 micrometers. Fast forward to today, we have the Xiaomi 15 Ultra with the Sony Lite 900 sensor. It's about 16 millimeters diagonal, that's 0.63 inches and 1.6 micrometer pixels. You're like, wait, what's the big deal? Well, hang tight. Here's why the numbers actually matter. Larger sensors and bigger pixels means more light has been captured. This impacts how much detail you get in the photos, how well the phone handles the low light and just how sharp your pictures are. Now think of it like adding some toppings to your pizza. It makes it taste well, right? But here's where things get tricky. When it comes to smartphones, they don't always use the entire sensor. Why? Because the lens might not be big enough to cover the whole sensor. That's right, your one inch type sensor might actually be working part time and not full time. So while marketing says one inch sensor, we are not getting the full DSLR level goodness in that. It's like buying a sports car and only driving it around the block or in your society. It's not quite the thrill that we imagined. But in the case of DSLR cameras, the one inch sensor is used in entirety. Often it is paired with high-end lenses and the image processing is more optimized, meaning the images look more natural, vibrant and even clean. In smartphones, it's a different story altogether. Even if a smartphone has a 1-inch type sensor, it usually doesn't use the full surface area. Now this is due to several limitations, primary being the space restriction and in addition to that, that could be the lens size, the camera module thickness, thermals meaning how much heat a camera can handle, 
and the image processing power. That means how it can make your photos better, vibrant and clearer and even more real. Those are some of the main factors. But fear not. Today's smartphone cameras are actually getting better. With optimized software and image processing actually getting smarter, you'll still get some impressive shots. So just don't expect the DSLR magic to happen in your pocket yet. So does the lens size matter? Yes, of course. But don't forget the real secret ingredient for getting good photos is how the lens, sensor and image processing, they all club in and work together. A big sensor means nothing if the lens is underpowered or the software isn't optimized. It's all about balance, guys. So next time someone says, oh, my phone has a one inch sensor. You can just smile knowingly and say, ah, oh, one inch type, right? If you learned something new today, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that bell icon so that you never miss out on the tech fun here on Fiverr. This is HVR signing off, catching you in the next one.